all changing or should be through the whole duration of our lives. We're growing. We're, you know, we, 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 we're changing emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. There are changes in every single way. That's why every family needs a constant. And I'll tell you what that constant is. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. I, the Lord, do not change. Amen. We need to be built on the solid rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Listen, there are all kinds of things that can influence our family in a negative way. The storms that would try to cause destruction. So here's what I, what I want to come around to as I draw to a close. Your family needs you to have a close relationship with Jesus. Your family needs you. Say, why me? Because it's you I'm talking to. You need to. And, and whether you are here today and you're the 80-odd-year-old matriarch of the family or whether you're sitting in here and you're an eight-year-old who decided not to go into the ark today, I want to tell you your family needs you to have a significant relationship with Jesus. And I'll tell you why. In the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul is talking about how a little bit of false teaching can impact the whole picture in a major way. He says it's like when you put yeast into something and it really expands. And I want to tell you this, a little bit of godly influence can have an even greater impact on the life and the well-being of family. Just like the rains, the storms can strain a house to its breaking point, our culture, our crises, the changes, can strain your family from the outside. And some of those might be bothering you this Sunday morning. You may have got conned by the world systems and taken on standards that really aren't helping your family. You may be going through deep waters right now. You may have gone through some changes in family life that you're struggling to readjust to. But when it comes down to it, one of the main things in life is cherish your family. Protect and care for them lovingly. Now, I don't know how I'll leave this earth when the time comes. God hasn't given me that insight. I know what my prayer is. My prayer is that it will be painless <laughs> and uh, relatively brief. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. When the time comes when we leave this earth, we will not be saying, just pull up my latest bank statement on my phone for me. Right? We won't be saying, give me a picture of my car to look at one last time. We won't say, can you just check how many likes I got on that Facebook post last night? What we'll want is to have the people who mean most to us around us. Amen. Family. I know family life is painful and difficult for many of you. But I want to tell you this. Whatever you've got that's good in family life, value it, cherish it. Whoever you've got that's still right there with you, caring for you, loving you, value that tremendously. And don't let any other influence cause it destruction. What's the foundation for a family? The foundation for family is the foundation for life. 1 Corinthians 3.11. No one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Cherish your family and do it by making sure you're building on the solid rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's stand and pray together.
Some of you are blessed to have family members right here with you in service this morning. Others of you, your family don't live anywhere near. Some of you are estranged perhaps from family for whatever reason. I, I was warned a while ago that I shouldn't wear t-shirts that say something on a Sunday morning if it's not clearly visible because people will spend half your sermon trying to find out what your t-shirt says. So here's what my t-shirt says for you and your family. God can. God can. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you can bring us through the storm. Thank you, Lord, that you're the one who can keep us safe through the flood. And I pray for every family represented here today, every family watching us online just now. And God, I pray you'd give them the wisdom and the courage and the faith they need to build their family on the solid foundation of Jesus Christ. Brave enough to withstand the influences of our culture. Strong enough and determined enough to stay together through the crises of life. And committed enough to live through life's changes and find richness in every chapter. Father, thank you for everyone who's part of our families. And we speak blessing over those we love in your name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Let's worship with the band.